Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be solving one problem on linked list from Litco. And this video will be in addition to the competitive programming series on our channel. So if you are new to this channel and you are interested in competitive programming and you haven't checked out the competitive programming playlist on our channel, you can check it out from the link in the description or from the i button on the right top corner. So let's start with this video. So before jumping to the problem description, let me tell you that if you see here, this is an easy problem and this kind of problem you typically get in an interview when you are left with 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. So the idea here is to understand that you might get this kind of tricky question in your interview and you should be prepared for this. The more you practice, you will be able to get it right in your interview in a very short time. So here it is given, write a function to delete a node in a singly linked list. You will not be given the access to the head of the list. Instead, you will be given the access to the node to be deleted directly. It is guaranteed that the code to be deleted is not a tail node in the list. So let's try to understand this problem description through the example. So let's say you are given this linked list 4519. Okay, and in this given linked list, the given node which needs to be deleted is the node with value 5, right? So after deleting 5, your linked list will have 4, 1 and 9, right? So the only trick here is that it's a singly linked list and you are not given the access to the head. That means the only thing you have is the reference to this node which needs to be deleted. Now, as this is a singly linked list, you, you are not allowed to go to the left side of the given node right you can only access the right part of the linked list so the challenge here is how you can delete this node when you don't have the reference to the head node right you cannot start with the beginning of the linked list to so one more example so here let's say you are given 4519 and one is the node which needs to be deleted then after that you will have 459 right so i hope this is clear let's uh, check the constraint so constraint are basically uh, things which you need to keep in mind while coding it out so the constraints here are the number of the nodes in the given list is in range 2 to 1000 and the value will lie between minus 1000 to 1000 and the value of each node in the list is unique okay and then the node to be deleted in the list is not a tail node so here if you see these constraints are very straightforward now what we need to focus is we simply need to understand how we can remove this given node right so let's try to understand the solution for this so let's try to understand the solution to this problem through a presentation so let's say you are given this linked list with value 2 4 6 8 okay and the given node to be deleted is the node with value 4 right so we want to delete this node and the only thing we have is we have the access to this node right we do not have access to the head node so in order to delete the node with value 4 Ideally, we should be deleting this node and the link of the first node should be pointing to the node with value 6, right? So this is something we want to achieve, right? So what could be the possible ways to do it? So the first thing we need to understand is that this is a singly linked list, right? And we cannot have access to the previous nodes. So in the usual way where we generally have the access to the head node, what we used to do is we used simply used to traverse the linked list. We search for the node needs to be deleted and we simply change the link of the previous node to point to the next node of the node which needs to be deleted right but here we cannot do that so for this problem what we can simply do is we can simply copy the value of this node to this node that means as we have access to this node we can simply get access to this node right and we can copy this value here and then after copying this what we can do is we can simply change this link this link to start pointing to the node with value 8 right how we can do that as we already have access to this node we can also get access to this and we can take the link of this node and assign it here right so this will start pointing to the node with value 8 right so now when you traverse this link list you will have 2 6 8 which is what we wanted right so here if you notice actually we have not deleted the node we have simply changed the value and the link of this node right and and if you see this will become redundant right so this is of no use now now if you traverse your linked list this is 2 6 and 8 which is your expected output right so this is one of the tricky problem you can get in an interview so now you must be thinking how you can think of such solutions right so the idea here is that you can get such intuitions in an interview only when you have a good hands-on practice on this topic so for example for now it is a linked list right if you have done enough practice on different problems of linked list you will simply get this intuition in an interview 
so this is not tough but this is tricky right so now we'll see the code for this okay so i'll go to the lead code website so here if you see we have this id uh, integrated with this website so what we can do is we can simply select your or any of the language and, and you can code the solution so here if you see this is your structure of the least node and this is the function which we need to modify and here what you will be getting you will be getting the access to the node which needs to be deleted so the first thing we need to do here is we need to simply change the value of the node which needs to be deleted right so as i mentioned here that this val this node needs to be deleted right so first thing we did is we copy the value of next node to the node to be deleted right so what we can do is we can simply write node dot val equal to node dot next dot val right so what we are doing we are simply copying the value of next node to the node which is given to you right and similarly after doing this you will have a node with value 6 now the next thing we did is we simply change the pointer to the next node right so all you need to do is node dot next equal to node dot next dot next so now what we are doing we are simply changing the link of the given node so here for this node the link will get changed to this node that means we are simply using the link of this node and we are assigning it here if you see node dot next equal to node dot next dot next right so let's run this program so i'll run this code here so if you see this got accepted your input was 4519 and the node to be deleted is 5 and here the output we got is 419 so let me submit this problem so here if you see the solution got accepted okay so now the next thing to notice is what is the time complexity and the space complexity for this problem so if you see we are simply performing two instructions right that means the time complexity here would be order of one and also the space complexity would be order of one because we are not using any extra space so i hope the problem is clear to you i found this problem interesting so i made a video on this that's it about this video if you like this video please hit the like button and also let me know your thoughts on this kind of problem given in an interview also you can share your experience if you have received this kind of problem in an interview so yeah that's it for now and also if you're new to this channel and interested in competitive programming don't forget to hit the subscribe button because i'm going to upload more such videos which will help you to crack your coding interviews thank you for watching